Yeah, GCP has contributed substantially to our human resources and infrastructure. For example, not less than 15 people have been trained either for degrees related studies or hands-on training, even fellowships since 2005 when we started with GCP. We have four members of staff and also a researcher who participated in that exercise and ever since a lot of things have improved the weather station data is being collected as at when do our field preparation maintenance of um, tractors and uh, you know field design there's a lot of improvement even in our irrigation system Yeah, there are many, and I'll just list a few. One of them is a lab. There was no such laboratory until we got a GCP grant in Omodike. It's a basic molecular lab, but at least we can do DNA fingerprinting, could extract DNA, we could do some analysis, could apply it to our breeding work. We could even extract DNA alone and send to a genotyping facility, else we are facilitated by GCP. Then we have a rehabilitation of screen houses. We've had draft phenotyping infrastructure now in place, you know, characterization of the sites where we do our drought tolerance trials in Nigeria and in Ghana because we collaborate with our sister institute in Ghana. So GCP has facilitated all that. A rain out shelter is being constructed, assistance in procuring facilities, in negotiating genotyping through the genotyping support services. All those are things GCP has done to help us move forward with our work.